How worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honour. To him belong glory and power forever and ever. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things, in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron. Look, they said, we are your own flesh and blood. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led Israel in all their exploits. And the Lord said to you, You are the man who shall be shepherd of my people Israel. You shall be the leader of Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king of Hebron, and King David made a pact with them at Hebron in the presence of the Lord, and they anointed David king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gate of Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. For Israel's Lord it is, that who praise the Lord's name. There was at the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. We give thanks to the Father, who has made it possible for you to join the saints and with them to inherit the light. Because that is what he has done. He has taken us out of the power of darkness and created a place for us in the kingdom of the Son that he loves. And in him we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the unseen God and the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, everything visible and everything invisible, thrones, dominations, sovereignties, powers. All things were created, were created through him and for him. Before anything was created, he existed and he holds all things in unity. Now the church is his body. He is its head. As he is the beginning, he was first to be born from the dead, so that he should be first in every way, because God wanted all perfection to be found in him, and all things to be reconciled through him and for him, everything in heaven and everything on earth, when he made peace by his death on the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Blessed is he who inherits the kingdom of David, our Father. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The people stayed there before the cross, watching Jesus. As for the leaders, they jeered at him. He saved others, they said, let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, the Chosen One. The soldiers mocked him too, and when they approached to offer him vinegar, they said, If you are the King of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription, This is the King of the Jews. One of the criminals hanging there abused him. Are you not the Christ, he said? Save yourself and us as well. But the other spoke up and rebuked him. Have you no fear of God at all, he said. You got the same sentence as he did, but in our case we deserved it. We are paying for what we did, but this man has done nothing wrong. Jesus, he said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Indeed, I promise you, he replied, Today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things, Visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light. True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Ah, ah, To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful Lord bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.